Alright, so we're back with uh, Wild Arms 2. Sadly, we had a Windows update basically just crash the stream. So we're just going to replay a little bit of the game. But basically, we just went from that station. We explored along the little inlets up there. I believe we should have a lucky card. And otherwise, I guess I could show off the Starfish Men at some point. And I'm going to have to go through all the dialogue again. We know there's a duplicator in town. That's about as far as we got. Oh, actually, a new enemy type we didn't see before. Good for you. Death tiles. Thing. Mm. See how this goes. Yeah, the problem too is that all oh, their weak to are immune to ice. Kind of annoying. Didn't know. But yeah, unfortunately, I think it will try to update again at some point. So I don't know what it tried downloading and failing, but it's gonna keep doing that over and over now. By the way, until that update goes away. So 10 out of 10, Windows 11. Already off to a great start. <laughs> Yeah, there's not really too much to explore. So we already found Guild Galad. Let's go back here, I guess. Fortunately, we save. Well, yeah, we saved right before we had the cutscene. So at least we'll be able to re-record the cutscene. We'll be going to the weapons store at some point. I guess I'll go a different direction in the palace. As we found out, those uh, raised staircases connect the entire town, including the, ca the castle equivalency. So we'll try going a different direction and seeing if we find anything new. We know there's a duplicator place at the far north end of town. Yeah, I was expecting we'd have to walk out of here in order to leave the throne room equivalency. But that was not the case. Cretans, blundering idiots! I did not hire you to escort my son so you could wreck my property! Father? Father, you mustn't be so rude to them. The only reason I made it back home safely to Gilgalad. The arms team protected my life with such valor and timeless effort. Or tireless, excuse me. And tireless effort. Silence, I say! Damn you! Why did you have to uncouple the freight cars? It was to save the lives of all on board. Yes, well, but... Father, why are you so upset about what happened? I am safe, am I not? Oh, by dot dot dot. Father, was it the freight cars and not me that Odessa was after? H how dare you! I... I just... Those golden jewels were but a drop in your ocean of wealth. Unless there was something else. Father, did you mean to acquire a su super weapon banned under the Treaty of Iscariot? How could you? I do love that that dialogue it, like went from 0 to 10 in like 3 boxes. Well, you, you must understand, I... This changes everything. I must apologize to you, he says while facing the wrong characters. There's no reason for you to be blamed. This is the fault of Gil Galad. I don't get it. What's going on? Father was trying to sneak a weapon into the country on that train. I suspect it was a lost technology weapon unearthed in secrecy. That weapon has fallen into the hands of Odessa. I see. I resent being deceived. That is inexcusable. However, what's done is done. We must now focus on repairing the damage. We must thwart whatever evil scheme Odessa is planning with that super weapon. Thank you. A son of Guild Golan Master, I can think of nothing better than to hear you say that.
But what about the super weapon? How powerful is it? Father, I implore you, tell them. Only they can help us now. The super weapon was found on an old battlefield in Slate, I admit. Yeah, we were thinking originally it was an angel halo, but then we got something way cheesier. <coughs> yes! <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. One second. Try this again. Yes! Nuclear weapons! Nuke, what are... Weapons using nuclear energy, the pride of the lost technology. They are super weapons that apply the theory that mass is converted to energy in a chain reaction. The dynamics are completely different from our magic powers. Nuclear weapons. The unwanted byproduct of industrial sorcery. They don't exist, do they? But if they're so but if they're so powerful, the joy of the kill can't be that great. Welcome, Calvisham. Nukes are powerful, but their value is not their power. Yeah, sadly, Chad, I think today is going to be a very short session recorded due to the earlier issue. I'm kind of upset about that, I'm not going to lie. That's right. The super weapons that affect the balance of power are valuable only for their deterrent value. <laughs> the world is now in my hands. Once I have the aerial fortress Heimdall Gazo and the nuclear weapon Grouswein. Grouswein? Not quite sure how to pronounce German sometimes. Odessa wants to conquer the world. They would never use a nuke. Oh yeah? What makes you so sure? Yeah. Why would they steal a weapon they never intend to use? Nuclear weapon can lay waste to a huge area. It destroys all life and renders the land eternally uninhabitable. Why would Odessa wish to rule a barren, lifeless world? He wanted the nuke as a threat. I too sought a nuclear weapon as a deterrent with which to counter Odessa's threat. After all, Odessa's sure to use this nuclear weapon at the bargaining table. Odessa means to intimidate the other nations. We must stop them now. Ashley, what is it? Okay, here comes the most awkward philosophical dump from Bashley. So awkward, chat. Oh, nothing. It just occurred to me that world domination... Oh, that the world domination Odessa seeks is truly a formidable task. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? On our many missions, we have come across many different people. All of them have their own ideas and their own way of doing things. I'm only stating the obvious, of course. Even people who share the same goal use different methods to achieve that goal. In short, no two people think alike. They dominate the world for good or for evil? Oh no. Accordingly, words like conquer and dominate mean different things to different people. Yes, I see what you're getting at. World domination may sound like a lofty goal. The day-to-day -day job of actually ruling the world would be fraught with overwhelming difficulty. Each area has its own customs, its own industry, its own laws, its own way of thinking. There's simply too much diversity for the world to be ruled by any one group. In this light, world domination is just an unrealistic dream. And we face an enemy who's trying to achieve that very goal. The future is uncertain, but what we... But what is certain is that Odessa's causing suffering right now. We must stop them. We must destroy them. Ilkalad will provide you with any backup you need. Isn't that right, father? We will begin by upgrading your hovercraft. We'll give it a a port feature, which is similar to the teleport orb. You'll be able to go anywhere in the seas of Vilgaia, so please stop them. Uh, we went left last time. Oh, I should probably talk to these people again, since it's not recorded. The power plant you destroyed was built using relics of an ancient civilization. 
I fear that the hero of Slayhan didn't come back. That's too bad. Perhaps you were fortunate to destroy Odessa's base with the loss of only one life. Thank you for guarding me aboard the train. I apologize for keeping the nuke a secret. I did not know myself, but I feel as if I have deceived you. Odessa stole our nuclear weapon. How on earth did Odessa know the nuke was on that train? Could there be a spy in our midst? I feel at this point they just need to create Metal Gear. I mean, they're already there, chat. I feel like they've given up on the pretense of this being kind of a Western universe. Alright, so both of them end up making you go outside at some point. Exactly, remote battery. See a book entitled An Architect's Mutterings. Let's read it. What is on a dragon's back? It's the whole book. What? I'm the caretaker of this library. Some disrespectful whippersnappers call me the Lord of the Library. Do you have one book in your library? That, that's it? That, did they just give up? Like, what happened? The, wait, that was it? <laughs> that was that was the whole library chat. We read the single book in the whole library. Wow. It was, uh... That was incredibly lame. I mean, I guess I'll go back this way. What is on the dragon's back, exactly? So... Both of these just end up going the same way. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I could go back this way. So we'll go this way and up to go to where the other place would have taken us, to Joe chan Each day, I try to find one thing to be grateful for. I'm busy looking for something right now. There should be another door over here. More diverse here than in other towns. That's what I like about this town. I'm desperately trying not to rotate the camera because I'm kind of tired of not seeing where I'm going. But at the same time, if I keep rotating every time I move around the corner, I'm not going to remember where I am in this town. Peddler is gossiping that Odessa is targeting a mining town. Got it. You destroyed Odessa's base. Norm's guys are good. I learn a lot from you. Don't get me started on Odessa. Field Glide's technology. We could have knocked that base of Odessa's out of commission. Is there like a hidden thing down here? Yeah, there's like another set of doors here. Alright, so we went this way before. We know there's no items here, except for at the back. At least we're mostly caught up to where I was before. Apparently Noel 16. I guess that's the plot point. Uh, let's use the duplicator that we have. We're gonna reacquire the four crests. Spoilers, I guess. Alright, so we're almost caught up to where we were before. Okay. That's all we found so far, but that doesn't mean that's the only thing in town. We did not check what was over here. But what is on a dragon's back is reminding me of that stupid Kingdom Hearts quote. Where, uh... Like, get up on the Hydra's back! That's all I'm reminded of. Like taking walks, there's many types of vehicles in Guildglad, but I still prefer walking. Really? What vehicles? Oh, I literally don't see any. Uh, we'll talk about this guy that makes the Star Wars reference for no reason. Look at this rock. Wonderful, isn't it? This is the fossil of a monster dragon. Long, long ago in a galaxy, I mean in Filgaia, these frightful creatures ruled the world. Even in death, the massive dragon fossil inspires all. Maybe one day we'll find what is on a dragon's back. Like how she just says, who are you? Um... So the- we know the store entrances are further south. 
I'm gonna go back here real quick. Did we miss anything? Hmm. I feel like there should have been something to do in one of these rooms. It feels weird that this area is so big, yet there's nothing we could do in it. Alright, slight itch in my eye. other paths we could take leading out of here. I don't know if that's like a hint to like a hidden item somewhere. Now we're just heading south. So we know I, I might as well as restore my bullets. I could get more spells but I just don't think I care much more. I guess I could get some level 1s just to fill them out. Get Kirk Weapon Sense is one of the few ones we can actually use. I guess I could use Calvation Spell, because it's technically something she could do to save me items. gonna save. Hopefully nothing weird happens again. I'm gonna do a double safety save. Make sure it says it's done saving before I do anything. Hmm. How can we talk to you with the personal skills? Nothing, I think we're basically done. I don't know what else we would really learn at this point. Hmm. that that's like the only thing in this whole town. Is there really just that? That's something dumb like there's a hidden switch here or something, right? Like that library book was a hint for something. Yeah, this town kind of sucks though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I wonder if that library book was like a hint towards something, but I'm not finding whatever it is. Hmm. Oh, come. How picky was that? That was so picky! I, thought I did that earlier! Are you serious? There is a switch here. Oh, the stupid dragon's back comment was real. Oh my gosh, chat. That was way too picky. I did it, like, right here, yeah. chat, and it didn't give me the option. That is so dumb. Okay, what did we even open? I know, Chad. I'm just like, I think I'm allowed to get annoyed at stuff like that. Like, it's one of those ones where, like, I did do that, but I wasn't in, like, the magic pixel to initiate the conversation. It just blows. Oh, man. Um... know what we unlocked, if anything. I mean, presumably something got unlocked, but I have no idea where this is. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's... This game's hit detection really blows, Chad. Can we talk about that? Like, this is, like, the second or third time where, like, I did actually get it right the first time, but because I wasn't in some, like, magic spot, it didn't acknowledge what I was doing. Kinda sucks. But where is the hidden thing that we unlocked? I don't even remember seeing a door we couldn't open. Does chat remember when we went around if there was a door I just didn't see? I really genuinely don't recall another locked door. Like, we went through here before. This eventually just leads back to the church. So... Hmm. Both of these doors take me there. Um... I'm not gonna lie, chat. I have no idea where this opens something. We were in here. Does it matter if this is over here like this? Oh, this is the door that opened. Oh. Okay. Again, I think this is where, okay. I think this is where when we play RPGs, like if the camera had been like this the whole time, I probably would have noticed the door a bit sooner. It's like when it's like this, I don't think I could really tell that that was a special door compared to this one. Mm. I hope in Wild Arms 3, they figure out perspective a little better. Or do something else with the camera, because again, I'm not a fan of rotating the camera at all in this game. Especially since there's things that are literally like one pixel wide. Like sometimes we could see the hallways of things that have opened. Sometimes we can. Or other times, like I'm lined up with something and we we go to confirm it and it doesn't do anything. Oh, there's the most generic NPC ever. We're not gonna bother reading his conversation. So now I can move around. Oh, I have to rebuy weapons, that's right. Oh yeah, she said to sleep at the inn or something, right? Fine, I'll humor her, and if it's not useful, I'm undoing it. I don't care about our luck totals at all. It could be whatever at this point. We're gonna have to go- we're basically gonna be on a worldwide tour at some point. So we're gonna have to start taking notes. I'm just gonna go here repeatedly. I'm assuming it's not just the one and done. arms members thank you for always giving my humble in your business because you're such good customers i'll tell you something i heard from a merc apparently there's a ruins on an island to the southwest of the large island south oh man that is confusing directions okay let's try to take notes so uh southeast of current of Guild Galad. Go southwest to New Island. So we're 
I'm, I'm gonna put this in backtracking because there is a lot of places we could go back to now that we can teleport the hovercraft. It may just be a rumor, but you never know. We got one dungeon location down. Let's go back and purchase our weapons. And I guess armor for Vicky, since we're forced to use her, sadly. She's so bad compared to the other character. It's so sad, chat. Might as well as make the other character tanky. There's really no point to upgrading magic wands. I'm not going to. You know what? I got spare money. I can make them more tanky, because it's funny. We gotta be careful not to sell the other gear. We did get our items back from the other character, Saurus. I'll leave him like this. He's a little better than Northeast being in the Northeast, which is Northeast up here. That's true. That... <laughs> there is certainly some interesting translation. Imagine at some point they want us to go to the mining town, according to what they said earlier. Can I now teleport? And yeah, let me teleport Gem to the Overcraft. Which can now teleport to other locations. How does that work? No, act no, seriously, how does that work? Oh, do I have to use the teleport orb on it and then it puts it near me? That's how that works. Um, okay, so at least we have a big world map that works. I think this is the first time I've tried looking for it. So, here's the problem. <laughs> at some point, I would like to find the prison. So it's south... Oh, I don't even remember the directions, so I write them down. Southeast of Gilgalad, okay. Go southwest to New Island. Do they- oh, do they, do they mean the island outpost I've already been to? I really hope that's not where they're pointing me. Thinking about where they want me to go. There is, like, that whole inner island. I really hope that's not where they're trying to direct me. I'm gonna be kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. But we already went to the island outpost. I mean, looking at their directions, this is where they would be taking me. We can go in the water here, even though it looks weird. God, I'm mashing that no encounter. You have no idea. Like, no thanks. We can go here. Found a little bit. And there's probably something on this island. Unle unless this is what they meant by south... I don't know. You know what? Let's not think about it too hard. I'm assuming there's something here, or else why would a beach be here? Hoping it's a dungeon versus just a single item. Or I'm gonna be pretty disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Unless it's like a, a, a medium or whatever they're called. Then, then I'll be okay with it. Seriously? Seriously. There's nothing on this island? Take this place. Right, Chad. Right, Chad. I, I hate you, game. What a waste of time. Uh, well, I hope they don't mean the island outpost there, because we've already been there. Anyway, I'm gonna mash for the encounter skip, because I have no interest in combat here. I'm assuming somebody has to tell us something is there, which, as I said before, not a fan of that mechanic at all. I really hope that does not appear in Wild Arms 3. This whole search feature is really, really bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, chat. I'm not a fan, at the slightest. So the question is... 
with the hovercraft, can I go back to the prison island now? The question is, where was the prison island? I guess that's a good question order. There's a whole area over here we couldn't go to. So here's the problem, like, I could go here, but then I won't be able to do anything because our idiot party members don't know what a building looks like, so we can't go anywhere we're not supposed to. Like, will I be able to do anything here? Or is it just gonna be like, teehee, big island, nothing to do, even though there's clearly stuff here. Because somebody didn't tell us about it arbitrarily. Yeah, really hoping this does not make a comeback in Wild Arms 3. That would be very disappointing to me on many levels. But so far, not really been worth exploring in this game at all. I would argue this is even worse at exploration than Wild Arms 1, and I was already not a fan of Wild Arms 1 exploration. At least you had, like, bottles in the sea to pick up. Like, there was at least something other than, like, a couple of arbitrary areas. Yeah. Okay. Cape Goat acquired. Not really worth it. I mean, dare I get in an encounter here? I'm waiting for it to be just something horrific, to be honest with you. Though I should be immune to all encounters currently, as long as I mash. So it's more, do I want the encounter? Or will my finger get tired? Like, it, doesn't it seem like there should be a dungeon here? This is the problem with this game. Like, I, it... It's like, it wants... It has, like, slightly better world navigation than Wild Arms 1, but... The trade-off is that there is just no... There's just no point to doing it. Kinda disappointing. I guess I'll shoot Fafnir. Go find some weaknesses, I guess. Really? So, XP money, not worth it. That's about what I thought. So oh, I guess I guess if I don't find anything I just leave. A chat could just feel the frustration of having like an entire area like this where you have to just repeatedly search because you have no idea where they put a stupid building, and then your reward is like escape doll? Like that's really not worth it. Is there really nothing to do here? Another item. I didn't even see what it was. That really sucks. Well, so we'll find out in the future. Oh! Oh, they can get through Weather Vane eventually. Wait, what do you mean I must fight alone? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have Weather Vane. Excuse me. Excuse me. I definitely equip Weather Vane. Why are they allowed to surprise me? Is this item broken? I literally equipped that item to prevent this. The double miss. Wow, what a fail. Game, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna make sure. I mean, we did restart it. I'm, I'm fairly certain the second time I put it on because she had mittens before and I don't want her to wear mittens. Please hit the targets. Spare me this awful sound effect. Mashing that menu. Yeah, you have the weather vane. Okay, first of all, I got surprised, and second of all, I still ended up fighting alone. Well, I mean, I guess if this doesn't prevent it, I'm just gonna remove it. Talk about faulty advertising. Um... 
Do I just go to the place to the south? Is it even worth going there? I did talk about before. I was wondering if there was anything that would be over here. I might as well check it. So I think this is fair. We... Okay, so there we go. So at least this... Okay, so at least there's a payoff from me remembering from last session. There's something I could actually do. Stupid. Yeah, because the whole point was to not have to do those encounters. Hey, Vardy in the Snow, the quiet sleeping refrigerator... <laughs> the quiet sleeping refrigerator. That is a weird phrase. Dreams in the is back of the cold it? stone room. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to fetch those with the other character. Yeah. Unless I have to physically be her? Because the whole point was that one character would be there and I don't need to constantly... Counter dodge. Let's find out their weaknesses. Feels like I'm being attacked by like a knockoff Dark Magician. Reaper's Lullaby. Is that an insta kill? Find out eventually, I guess. Give him a little twirl. I guess if I want to show off monsters, the water magic's good at just letting you see the whole model. Okay, that XP was fine. That XP's already double what we had in the overworld. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah, we saw, we fought one enemy earlier with like six googly eyes, and it only had 200 XP. XP's still kind of bad in this game. Alright, so like if I do this... Will she just automatically get out of encounters, is the question. Put off, that would've been bad. Let's see, Chad. If this doesn't work, I'm unequipping. <laughs> if she is now forced in an encounter... She's out. I'm just not equipping. Literally, literally useless. <laughs> but she better not get ambushed at any point. Fine. Up there, I gotta pick up. Oh boy, is this a color puzzle? Well, if you had color puzzle in your puzzle checklist, go ahead and stamp that now. I get into an encounter here. Let me do this. So more lucky cards, which I don't really need. It's fun. I saw... That one's supposed to be black. We have different colors. I only saw one color. Are they on doors I can't see? Oh, of course. See, this is what I'm talking about, chat, with, like, not seeing colors. Like, we probably went through multiple doorways that had colors, and I just couldn't see them because they didn't load. Really annoying, actually. This. Second day of battle, roaring flames burn the earth, a dark war of overflowing grief. I'm assuming this is another, like, Shadow Hearts color puzzle thing, where I'm either reading the plaques or looking at the things I go through in the doorways. 
Are there more written? Oh no, there's so many of these. Today's the beginning, the endless blue sky and spreading deep forest, essence of tranquil golden era. I I think I know I think I can BS the last colors. I think we're good. Okay, so it doesn't so it doesn't prevent it. Oh well, well, I guess we get force encounter. Force encounter is fine, but we still got forced to fight alone, which is stupid. Alright, so it's not as powerful as I was hoping it was. It's definitely still have to do encounters eventually. Unfortunate. Alright, so I mean, based off of what we heard before, it's definitely blue, green, yellow. Then I think it was red. It's either black, white, or white, black, based off the second plan. So I think I have enough. I could probably just guess the last two. Early time. like I don't think that's the right order this is another plaque somewhere if there is all right so they what they say it's snow so okay we know the last one definitely is white then we just gotta do the correct order here so it should be blue bean Yellow. Red. They said the final day was snow, so that would make white this one. That's the last. Ah, uh, that was straightforward. It it would have helped if I could have read the plaques knowing they were there, thanks camera angle. It's fine. Go pick up a new medium. Voice from the stone says, I'm Aru Salatu, the guardian of snow. I'll respond to your call. Yeah, yeah, just join our party, refrigerator. My freezing silent world, my powers in an almost eternal world, purifies the evil ones. And we're gonna be doing some purifying, all right. Purging all the enemies from the dungeon. Power charge. I don't think I've used any of the special abilities. They've been pretty irrelevant, to be honest. Like, we could pickpocket, but chat chat knows how I feel about pickpocket. I don't think I'm going to bother with that skill in this game. Ice Beam and Arctic. We have almost all the elements now, which is nice. Gotta learn them. That's a mashing to skip encounters. I'm like, no thanks. Good try, though. My poor controller. That B button is being pressed so many times right now. You can see I'm doing the run animation specifically to avoid the uh, fallout from the game. There we go. I still wish we had the ability to just turn off encounters. Kinda sad the high-level magic doesn't have something like that. But I guess the question is, if we look at the world map, is there somewhere else they could have been talking about? Where were those horrible directions we were given? Southeast of Guildglod goes southwest to New Island. Thank you, Cryo, for the support. You do well. 
just thinking if there's anywhere I want to go before I advance the plot. See where else they could be talking about. See, the problem too, as I said before, is I think until we basically get told where things are, for the most part, we're not able to do anything. The icebox place was an exception. Because otherwise we went to the big area in the northeast and we couldn't do anything. There, for example. I think I just teleport to the chateau for now. Restock on some items. Where does this put the boat? Oh, it puts it over there. Dang. Oh yeah, speaking of which, let's see what the codec call says. Hello, I have some hopefully helpful info for you. This is after a mine, right? Well, both Damson and Holster are well-known mining towns. Sorry, but that's all we know right now. We just have to go on that, okay? Okay. We'll check those out in a moment. Be stock time. Oh yeah, speaking of which, did we need to upgrade anything on Bashley? Is he capped? Oh, is that our alive isn't max? I forgot we didn't do that. Um... I guess I could improve its damage a little bit. I was using it for, like, an ult boss weapon. Bold action is definitely a stronger one for now, though. So let's get a free extra 5 attack. 5k is nothing in the grand scheme of things here. really do anything here. I wonder what this is considered. Yeah, we were like here before. There's nothing we could do here, I don't think. Like one more time, I guess. But are you being serious? I definitely did this before. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is this Wild Arms wanting me? No, 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 no. We definitely checked this in the last session. Go, go check the recording. Did she mean south? Did she mean southeast of Gilgalad, but go southeast of the new island? Is that what she meant to say? Did they get the direction wrong again? We definitely went here before, chat. We 100% went here before. This was like the first thing I did while we were here. I think she got the directions wrong, chat. Because we already know about the island outpost. Ridiculous. Like possibly, maybe this one need to double say the directions, otherwise they screw them up, maybe. Yeah, we were here earlier. Unless something else unlock this. Terrace Pharma, indeed. I mean, I guess we'll go do this. What is this? Oh, no. Why, though? Also a teleport puzzle. Oh no, that happened already. We did that. That was last session. Sun rises from the east and sinks to the west, then tomorrow comes. Those lost on the road, look back at the path you've come. The land you search for is there. That is... 
What? Can't be right. Did they... What? But that's the... Do you want me to go, like, from, like, sunrise to sunset, but, like, why did you put them on the north side? Why, do, why don't you put them on the... whatever. So I guess we're just gonna slowly go through. Actually, let me go backwards. Wait, do you want sunrise or sunset? Oh, you want sunrise first. Do I go through the middle or the left one now? Maybe it wants this. No, that didn't do anything. Did I misunderstand the riddle? Sunrise from the east and six to west, then tomorrow comes. Those lost on the road look back to the path you've come, and you search. Unless it wants me to go in order. Oh, unless it unless that unlocked the door across here, which I didn't see. Oh, I didn't see if that was open or not. Damn. Camera, please. Go right. Left. Back. Is the door open and I just didn't notice? Wait, didn't I do that before? Why didn't that work the first time? Did I go through the wrong door the first time? First time? Like, in? Whatever. I thought I did right, left, back, or whatever. Truth isn't always right before your eyes. Get, a get away and look across for the truth to appear. Why did you spin my camera like that? That was weird. Um, am I supposed to be seeing something in the camera? Go here. Can't do anything there. I could go through here. Thing here won't open the door. Like blocking reply to the question asked. What? There's the confusion. It shows the path beckoning, and here won't open the door, blocking the way. What? What even? What was the question? <laughs> what? In order with these translations? I swear the game is not making sense right now. Truth isn't always right before your eyes. Get away and look across for the truth to appear. Am I, like, writing down... I am super lost, Chad. I don't know what it wants me to see. Is there something else in this room that I'm not noticing? Like, there's a lot of hieroglyphs. But those don't mean anything to me. I feel like an eyeball... Things stacked on each other. There's supposed to be... It is like the stone tablet down there is supposed to look different depending on where I look at it? I'm assuming I have to rotate the camera in some way. The word Ray. Where is chat seeing that? Is there is there literally it in English somewhere? Where is chat looking it up? I don't see anything. I'm confused. Oh, it's cut off. Oh, I was looking at it like this. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. 
Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't notice when I was standing like this, it spelled Ray. There we go. Thank you, John. Blight, Star Roll, I won't trust my power of light to you, yada yada. We have got another thing to unlock, I guess. Power that brings light to clear away darkness if you need me, I'll respond. So now my last question is Before we do plot, is there anywhere else I could go? Like we went to the northeast area, nothing happened. Like, what does the sunlight thing do? Uh we'll find out later. desperately to remember oh wait hold on if i rotate the camera <laughs> it remembers me rotating the camera when i go to the menu that humors me okay so i th think the prison island was northeast of here can i go to maria and get it to be on the other side of this area or is it gonna be like where the chateau put it which is where i don't want it to be for clarity okay so this one we'll put it here but can i go back to the other prison island now because we missed items Like, a long time ago, we missed an item, like, at the end of this dungeon. A reminder. I think it was literally in this room, too, which is painful. Press. But... But... But didn't you... Didn't you tell me there was nothing in here before? Oh, whatever. That's for that. Alright, so we went back for a single press. Now we can leave. There we go. That's off the backtrack list. Let me mark this down. And removed. I swear, chat, when I investigated it the first time, it said nothing is here. I swear it did, chat. That's all we needed it for. Alright, so that's off the list. Was there anywhere else I wanted to go? I don't know what that weird blob is to the southeast. I guess I could briefly explore that. Mash on the button, chat. Like, no encounters, please. Oh no, chat, it's pollution. I should probably be searching in here, actually. Just to say that I tried, if something is in here. No, I'm not finding anything. I can see what the thing is in the southeast. Just to say we've now at least attempted some exploration. We found two areas. Wow, an item I can't grab. Cool. Thanks. What a worthy search. Love it. My favorite. Uh oh. I can't go here at all due to this weird barrier. It seems endgame. Remember that for later. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, thanks. What a worthy identification. I feel fulfilled, chat. Let's go.
So far, we're skipping pretty much all the encounters. I mean, nothing I can teach there. Back over here. The game really wants me to do an encounter, and I'm like, Ooh. No thanks. Also, this kind of looks like a head. Like, almost like a bird creature. Like, we're landing on its beak right now. Like a massive crater. Oh, this, this has to be something later. It can even come into the crater. How is there nothing here, chat? Like, come on. Do you see what I mean? Don't give me a hundred gala or whatever. Of course. And they're gonna be like, Oh, you should probably check out the crater! In like, five minutes. So stupid. I guess I should choose which town we should go to. I could go back to, what's it called, Holtz maybe first? Oh, I should probably get in one encounter here, just the enemies are like... I guess that's fair, before I teleport. They go first? Oh. Okay, at least they do low damage. And we're good. I was <laughs> like, I'm like, I can't believe somebody, something outsped. Hello? They do no damage at least. Yeah, Hello's speed is like insane compared to the rest of the party. The fact that they outsped him isn't crazy. At least they get one shot. Shoot him real quick, it'll be fun. Yeah, they didn't drop any items at the Trist, but in theory, maybe these enemies... I mean, we can look them up to see what they drop, maybe, right? That way I don't waste time trying to pickpocket them and deal with all that BS. Pickpocket sucks. Oh, there's the snail thing. I thought this a bat earlier. It tells us what we can steal from these. I did not pay attention to the name, I'm not gonna lie. My bad, chat. Did you remember what it was called, chat? It looks like it's an alphabetical order, as opposed to just a random order. I think any of these have anything of interest. We'll have to go fight that other monster at some point, maybe. Just to put him in the list. Googly eye monster. Oh, the Babylonians. <laughs> Love art is in there. Nice. And steel duplicator. Interesting. I don't need that right now, but that's good to know. Hold on. Hi. On Bird Skull Island. Steal from Babalu for duplicators. Why we double check? Because I'm not going to bother stealing unless we know it's good. We've seen what happens before when I kill those things. Yeah, I can't believe the blood the blood ruby drops the ridiculous enemy. Where was the blood ruby at, chat? Do you remember? It was, it was from the last session. It was blood ruby drops lucky card in... Is it Slayheim Castle? Like Hot Castle. Now that I'm in a new computer, I should probably do that. Okay, well, I guess we learned something at least. So there is a purpose to that island, unlike the other one we went to. Hmm. Anywhere else I think we should explore?
we explored with the hovercraft over here. I think Hulse might be our destination. We've got like a 50-50 to being relevant. Actually, since I'm here, I was trying to get a sense of where things were on the map. Maybe there is something in here. Give it like a more thorough check. I I'm right here. I might as well ask. I was contemplating if there's anything to go on the northern shore, but looking at it, I didn't see anything of interest. Whereas, like, this one at least has a possible chance there's something interesting in here. I don't see why else it would be like this. Problem is, where exactly it is. Find out. Or maybe it's just an item. Anything in general. I was thinking it would be more centered if it was gonna be in here. Not finding anything yet. Well, if it's in here, it's pretty well hidden. Right, Chan? I feel like I'm doing an okay job checking around. We're not finding anything. Well, I guess I'll sail back in a minute. Yeah, I don't see anything near the island or something dumb. Yeah, it feels like something should be in here, but we're not getting any prompts. Unfortunate. It could be like right here, maybe? Near the island, but also kind of there? Not really. Hmm. Give me one moment, Chad. I'm gonna rehydrate. check through here. I'm trying to think if there's like if I just barely didn't check somewhere. We went through the center of it and didn't find anything. Because I feel with like the the whole sunlight puzzle there should be like a dark version of the same thing. I was thinking maybe based off of the themes before there'd be something in here. I'm really not finding it if it's here. I'm being as thorough as possible right now. Say that I went for it. I swear, if there is something in here, this kind of highlights how annoying it is to find stuff, where, like, you have an idea of where it is, but... Being a bit more thorough here. But it's ease. Hmm. Not seeing anything in here kind of sucks. Though if it's in there, it's really well hidden. Screw the search feature in this game, chat. We get in five treasure map intensifies. It feels like it. Fine, we'll take the encounter. I just mainly used the death.
and XP. Magic pixels, maybe. Yeah, I'm surprised even like just this island alone doesn't have something. Do you know what I mean? Feels like they would put something here, just to be annoying. Yeah, if it's in here, I don't know where it is. I'm wondering if it's worth just beaching at the nearby island and then teleporting somewhere. Oh, you can get attacked while on the world map? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's just that's just rude. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's I mean that's a choice. I I just wanted to see the world map chat. What? That's pretty ridiculous. I love how the music doesn't play because it didn't expect me to be in the world map. I love we broke the game in our own special way, Chad. Can we just take a moment to just enjoy how broken we just made the game? So beautifully broken. Poor, poor thing. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? Yeah, we were definitely not meant to be in the combat in the world map. I guess I'll unpause it so we hear the music. There we go. So yeah, it feels like there should be something here, but the game, for whatever reason, is not giving us it for some reason. I guess they have to treat us like idiots in terms of finding items. There's, like, all the areas in, like, the northwest we can't do anything at. Like, is there a point to going up there? Hmm. So, I guess... We'll probably end up going to the island we were at before. I'm just thinking, I'm just looking at the map to see if there's anything else we should try. As I said before, it's probably something dumb where it's like, oh, you haven't been told, so you can't go there. Or it'll be like, oh, there's gonna be something there later, you just went too early or something. I guess there's one other place I could go to? Go straight north of here. We might just save plot for next time, to be honest, John. I'm gonna bother 100%ing the bestiary, but if we find enemies, it's neat. 300 something enemies sounds like a bit much, honestly, for me to hunt. Alright, so you do absorb water, that's fair. Just your like 89% accuracy move, seriously. Can you lay this thing to death, please? 
Love his damage isn't even that terrible, even though we haven't upgraded his weapon. You just don't feel like sitting through a spell animation. Nothing there. Went to the long teardrop shaped place, so there's nothing we could do there. There's one place we didn't go to. What's this? Assuming it is beaches. I'm gonna make a safety save here, just in case, because we spent a long time searching and I do not feel like redoing that. Beware Monster Isle. Oh no, what's on this island? Let's find out, chat. Because I don't feel like teleporting back to town and then driving all the way up here. We got ambushed. Um... Just imps? Those were basic enemies in the first game. So far, not scared of Monster Island. Okay. Poison Beam. How much damage does it do? Oh, that's all it does is poison? I don't care about that. Not a lot of damage. Hi, uh, Monster Island a little, little overhyped, right, Chan? I don't know. Unless there's like an uber boss here. Not really impressed by this. Use the antidote after this is over. They're worth a lot of XP though. 1200 is more than triple the other dungeon we were in. That stupid robot dungeon. Sadly, this is going to cost me an antidote. I really wish we could use spells outside of combat. That, that to me, is one of my biggest gripes. I don't think I'm going to get over that. I mean, that was, like, the whole point of the magic user. Like, you had limited resources, but you could use it so you don't have to shop repeatedly. Okay, so these are doppelgangers. Okay, the things we were avoiding before. Might as well see what enemies are here, and then we'll move on, I think. Like the kick to the face there. Get dangoed. was fine. It was definitely worse than what we fought before, but it it's still better. So we'll try like one or two more battles just to see what's here. I mean, this is allegedly Monster Isle. Assuming there's more than two monsters here. Mm, yeah, like these enemies are not really worth fighting. Death via bubbles, the shameful kill. Ice beam can now be used, nice. Probably heal next combat if it's just these again, and then we'll move on. one and then we'll explore a little bit. <laughs> oh, just I mean they're decent XP, but it would be better. The guaranteed heal. Away in case we have to fight a boss later, I don't have to worry about this. 
Poison Beam is annoying. <clears throat> They're definitely very happy. I'm trying to jam out to the music. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Actually, 26 is nice. There's one area we could go to, and this will be the last thing that I check, I think, for the... I just like having to use the antidotes and not just use spells for that, but that's fine. Uh, if we go back to Holst, wasn't there a whole side of the island we couldn't get on before? It's been a while, it could be misremembering. There's another beach here, I'm gonna find it very suspicious. Finally, searching is paid off. It's called Dark Reason. It was slowly coming to me, Chad. It was brewing. I was like, I feel like there was somewhere we didn't go. Good. Oh, no. No. No, no I, I don't like this. We're really doing a dark puzzle? Seriously? Let's reorient so that we're... Well, I guess if I flipped it... Is this pick a path? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is horrible! I... Chat... Can we have a talk? Can we can we all agree that these kinds of dungeons should not exist in modern times? I hate it! This I is just a it. absolute <laughs> damn time waster. Wow, it's really pick a path. Holy Is there even a purpose to this? A rival for Thor? This is pretty terrible. I don't even know, chat. I just... I don't even know what to say to this. This is just terrible, dungeon design. Did I even need to do all that? I have no idea. Oh, I got trolled, of course. If we go this way... Oh, okay, that was, that was fine. I don't know, is it this door? There's a gap in the middle. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we somehow got through that. We got really lucky, Chad. I just want you to know, we, we, we guessed wrong a couple times, but we got through that. There were clearly like five other doors. I'm glad we picked correctly towards the end, at least. Voice from the Stone says, The Curtain of Night. I'm closing late to Salk's dark reason. Accept it without fear. Please teleport me out of this mess of a dungeon. The judge in darkness is the defy reason. Those who live in reason will bring rest and calm. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Wait, we have to manually get out of here? Oh no, chat, this is bad. Please tell me it's just any path on the way back. Please tell me I did not have to memorize my random paths. There's another path over here. Camera. Uh, might be it. 
Grace reason Artorius was right. Okay. Okay, fortunately one side of the dungeon was mostly the exit. Okay, let's let's never come back here again for any reason. <laughs> just, let's just leave this place. This place sucks. I mean, I guess I should probably explore a little bit over here since I'm here, but we'll have to stop soon, that lane. Yeah, just seeing if there's something along the mountain. For here. I don't mind getting in an encounter here, but I am just trying to search. Finding Rick Gob. Name. The door bonks do enough damage, so I don't have to do my spell animation. They do. Maybe that's the point of upgrading the melee weapons to skip the long animations. And it is faster. Like, he gets up and runs back into the blade. That's commitment. Okay, so we'll finish exploring here, and then we'll take a break. Yeah, just gob. Thanks. Oh, this feels like something should be here. Oh. Not what I was thinking, but sure. Duplicator required. Okay, that time I saw it before it canceled. I mean, another duplicator is nice. It's like almost. I almost felt rewarded for exploring. I just wish the dungeon appearances weren't so lopsided. So we had some that we definitely needed hints to acquire. There's others that we have to just be straight up told. Even when it comes to cities where they are, which really sucks. exploring here, I think. Then we'll take a break. Nothing in here. Seems like a perfect place to have a dungeon. Actually, hello, hello just needs 300 XP to level. Let's level hello. It's fine. This will be our final battle of the stream. That's what I think of when I think Basilisk, but that's fine. Hello, hit level 40. That's the most important thing. Become more immortal. <laughs> Ascend into heaven in terms of difficulty for the enemy to clear. Yeah, let's teleport to a town. I don't really care which one. Oh, the, it can't be Holst, though. I'll just go back to... I believe, like, Gilgalot is the save area, to be honest. Go to town of area, I guess. I don't want to accidentally trigger something in Dam Center or whatever the other locations are. Also, I guess I should check our luck total. I got a little bit of What what did going to the inn do to our luck? Best, bad, normal. Fine. Might be why he's suffering so many status ailments, honestly. Bit unfortunate. Okay. Let's save. 
So I think we got at least clear directions as to what to do next. We got some new abilities to get at some point. But we'll see them probably next session once we're done learning the ice stuff. We have one more to learn. We have arrow shot. So there are light and darkness attacks, but for some reason the mage character doesn't get them anymore. So I was mentioning that before. I thought it was weird that light and dark was gone, but they exist. They just didn't give it to the girl for some reason. Again, kind of unfortunate nerfs, but how much we could really do about that. So we'll, I guess, slowly learn light before dark, because it seems like that would be more useful to know. But anyway. Let's uh, wrap up here for now. So, unfortunately, due to the crash today, it ended up being an overall shorter session. I think we did make some progress, at least. Hey, we got the upgraded hovercraft, so there's that. We got to experience dungeon design, in quotes. But yeah, I think other than that chat, we'll, uh, we'll discuss very briefly what we'll be doing later in the evening. But for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. See you again next time.